The chairman of the Neighborhood Democratic Council, Anan Kaladin, is the neighbor of the man who collects and stockpiles the scrap metal of old household appliances and vehicles while flouting residential codes. While the chairman has not denied that complaints were made to the NDC, he said on Sunday that his hands are tied to take action because those residents who make complaints refuse to attach their names to complaint documentation. Kaladin, during heated exchanges with residents, said until signed statements of complaints are lodged at the NDC, then action will be taken. I got to get a name who going to give evidence when, when I take him to court. Nobody does, does that. What are they expecting to get done? Right. Nobody, everybody hiding back in the shell. Right. I don't want to come forward. But at the same time, you're a resident that lives in this area. So yeah, it's some... I'm the chairman of this area. Uh -huh. I got to be fair. The newsroom visited the area at the request of angered residents on Sunday and many of them complained of severe damage to the sides and tires of their vehicles, while others say the blockage has caused their yards to be inundated year-round even during dry weather periods. I don't have anybody here to do anything for me. I am a person with a stroke on my left side. I can't use my one hand and it's one hand I use. And if I can do something about it. Me how long one. has this been going on for? This thing going on for years. And it, how much time ago in the NDC? Nobody ain't coming. They said they're coming and they ain't coming. Last week, Lyndon McCallman, who was taking his brother's vehicle for a drive in the street, is now forced to repair the sides of that vehicle after it came into contact with an exposed piece of sharp metal. Since I, I came here, I live in Antigua. But well, since I came here, a lot of people complaining about the... About the but the uh, iron eat. A lot of people's vehicles get scratched and nobody do, does anything. And this car is not the first car. The complaints were the same for Wayne Caladin and Stephen Williams. I don't get puncture four times. And when you go to E, he says not heating. And when I pass in, sometimes the iron is there out so much, I just got to come out the vehicle and push it in the car now and then go. And I just collect boys from the street with shovel pitch fork and move the, the thing and clear the and drain more than five times. Late last year, they had some scrap iron on the road and it burst one of my tires. I had to end up going and buy a tire for $37,000. And I talked to the guy concerning it, but he said it's um, them children just be um, taking it out. But I don't think, I don't think it's the children because children won't go um, pull out scrap iron from the dump. The man who has been collecting the scrap iron and selling it back as a business has denied the complaints. He has only been identified as Malcolm or Malo. On Sunday, he gave a commitment to removing the metal refuse within days. But this moving before the week out. Yeah, it's moving before the week out. Malo, I can say something. Yeah, you talk. Dry weather, dry weather, sir. Dry weather. We tell you for months and months. This water, when we clear there, is like when you open cocoa. The water just rushing like when the cocoa wind up. The vehicle there, we will high set, then by high set, and move the vehicle, put it up there, and we clear right through, and everything down back in, in, the, in the drain. If right now cocoa open, cocoa open many days, and the water build up here. The water still flowing? No, it don't flow. Call I witness. That they air the flood, and since the cocoa open, all run out. How, how, I call it chairman, I call it chairman, how, attention to it. How I only indigo so and, and water? Excuse me, please. Uh -huh. This I am moving before the week out. Uh -huh. So the problem will finish. For the newsroom, Kurt Campbell.